thing that I've learned, one thing that I've learned, when you put your trust in Jesus, Jesus really is the only one that is truly confidential. Church, we have to learn this. Jesus really is the only one in the entire world that is confidential. You can go to Jesus and tell him all about your troubles. He won't, listen, when you conversate with Jesus, he won't look at you and say, I don't know why you're going through this. This shouldn't be so. You Listen, whatever you tell Jesus, it will never take him by surprise. You can go to him with confidence. When you go to Jesus about every trouble, about every problem, he's really not focused on what you're telling him. Oh, y'all looking at me strange. Jesus is really not focused. God is really not focused in what you're seeing. Most of the times, he's just happy that you came. He's not like people. I don't know if I should share them with him. I don't know if I should share that with her. Oh, I don't know if I should share with them what's going on with my children or my marriage. I don't know if I should share with them what's going on in my mind. I don't know if I should share with them what's going on in my health. But when you go to God, these things, your mind never go to a place where I don't know if I should tell God about this. I don't know should tell him about my troubles. The Bible said that we boldly go to the throne of grace to find help in the time of need. When you go to God, you go to him with confidence. You go to God like you're an open book. You go to God like you have a trench coat on and you say, Lord, for so long, I've been having to live like this in front of people. Oh, Shata, I wish I had some help in here. I, this is not no sermon. I'm going to say what I need to say, and we're going to continue on. But I feel like somebody in the building needs to hear this because you've been living around people so long as if you are walking on eggshells. You really can't be yourself because people are so judgmental. You really can't truly be yourself around your own brothers and sisters because you've got to be a certain way with this group and with that group and with that group and, and, and you have to fix up what you say. Even some people in your life that are well educated, some people in your life that have doctor degree and PhDs, you even have to, it's like you have to study vocabulary before you can even have a normal conversation with them because everything that comes out of your mouth, you, you'll say it this way and they try to correct your grammar. But see, you you, you got to understand something about that, th that thing. You see, when you go to God, you don't have to walk on eggshells. You, you don't have to worry about God trying to correct your grammar. You don't have to worry about God uh, 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 telling you, you shouldn't come this way with me. You, you should come to me in a proper way with proper English and proper spelling. But, because, see, you got to understand, Jesus is at the right hand of God. So when you go to God, your, your prayers really is not holy enough to get to God anyway. So we have a mediator that sits on the right hand of God that says even though you are imperfect, even though you have flaws, even though you have troubles, even though my daddy is too holy for you to even come through him, but if you 
through me, I'll fix up your grammar. I'll fix up your vocabulary. I'll fix up your imperfections. You don't have to worry about how you said it. You don't have to worry about what you got hidden. He says, when you come to God, open up the trench coat. Look at somebody say, open up the trench coat. Well, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Oh, I need to just open that thing up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell somebody, open up the trench coat. You've been walking around like this for too long. This is why you're dealing with an identity crisis. This is why you don't know why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Because you got stuff bottled up. You got stuff in the closet bottled up. You got imperfections bottled up. You got problems on every hand bottled up. And you live like this. And it's just like it's taking over your mind. Taking over your sanity. So every now and then, I got to go to God. And I got to open myself up like I'm an open book. I don't need to leave nothing out about myself. I don't need to leave nothing out about what's going on with my mind. I don't need to leave nothing out about my imperfections. When I go to him, he said, hey, that's good. Yeah, God said, I've been waiting on you. Even though I know it. I need a confession. Oh, I feel the, the, the Holy Ghost. Look at somebody and say, somebody need this. Somebody need this right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, even though God know it, he says, I still want you to ask. Even though God know it, he said, I'm still waiting on the confession. Stop trying to go to people to confess to people. He said, I need a confession from you because only thing that people are going to do is talk about you. When you turn around, they're going to talk about you behind your back. They'll be nice to you. They are at understanding, but you give it a little time and they'll start looking at you like this. But God is a God of faithfulness and righteous judgment that when you confess your fault to him, when you confess your trouble to him, look at somebody and say, he'll make it all right.